Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how to use the D functions, database functions. So I've got some data on the screen. I'm just going to highlight this data and call it data. So I'm just going to call it data in the name box at the top here. Just type data, press enter. And then at the very, very top, you've got two lines of space but i want to name that as well as input so the way the d functions work is this so if i do um, d sum first you can see how that would work so you go equals d sum open the bracket and then you get the help so it's asking you for the database so the database i've called data so i can type data comma then it's asking you for the field so in this example i want to add the salary based on the grade eo and somebody that's 33. so salary you have to put inside quotes like that comma and then the criteria area which i've called input like that or you can just highlight it you don't need to use names tick that and it comes up with a figure just put that into pounds like so now anything i put in here so if i put m for example for male it will impact on that figure so that obviously was a male so let's go for female so female there is no females of that grade so i'll put it back to male i'll change that to nothing and you can see this is now changing if i change age if i change the age that's everybody that's male that's everybody that's female delete that that's every grade ao aa should i say and so on and so on so whatever you put in this area is going to give you the result now that's d sum you've also got d count which will tell you how many people that is so if i do that again so it's equals d count open the bracket so you're looking at the database called data comma i'm still looking at the salary field and i'm looking at the input area i think it's easier to use names to be honest because you don't have to worry about selecting ranges so according to this there are eight people of that grade if i go a o it's five of those and then if i do greater than 40 there's only one person of that grade greater than 40 if i delete that grade off there are nine people altogether greater than 40. if i delete that off now you've got nothing because there's no criteria so i'll go for m males so there's 12 men of that amount so you've also got d average so if i'll do that one equals d average What's the average of those sales or salary should i say so d average so it's data comma salary in quotes comma input close the bracket click the tick or you can press enter it's up to you so that's the average just make that into pounds so it rounds it up so again if i go greater than 40 see what happens there it's only four people and that's the average of their salary down there so that's basically what d sum does d count d average d functions so you set it up so you've got a selection area at the top you have a database that it's looking at and then you put in the criteria in the selection area and it's coming back with the results so that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can use the D functions to filter data and get what you're looking for. So thanks for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.